it's time for Homer's once a year physical. So let's stick him in the X-ray machine. Now X-rays are ionizing radiation, high energy radiation, but they are stopped by bone, and so you can visualize the skeleton with an X-ray. And it has some resolving capability for soft tissues. And you can see kind of gas pockets and some liquid pockets too. But about 1% of all cancers in America have been linked to X-rays and CT scans, which use a similar technique. Dr. Atkinson is waving to us from the NMR machine. Now, NMR uses very strong magnets and radio waves, neither of which have been shown to be carcinogenic because they are non-ionizing. So X-rays are ionizing radiation. They knock the electrons off of your atoms, so that could be dangerous. NMR stands for nuclear magnetic resonance, but people got scared of the word nuclear. Even that refers to the nuclei of your atoms. So they call it MRI, magnetic resonance imaging. Now what this will do will show you uh, where the hydrogens are in your body. Now you're 70% water, there's loads of hydrogen there. It's hydrogen in your fats and your proteins. So soft tissue imaging is the speciality of MRI. You can see the brain uh, in very high detail, for example, and in 3D. Now the Terminator is going to switch the machine on for us. Excellent stuff. And there's Homer's MRI in 2D, but you can get 3D. Notice you can see the soft tissues at very high resolution, and the risk is essentially zero. So let's take Homer out. Now you can't put metals in MRIs. Some metals are okay, like your fillings, but most metals aren't. So I'm just going to test that theory. I'm going to pop the Terminator into the MRI. Now a real MRI is a lot more complicated than a tube, a magnet, and Dr. Atkinson. But for clarity, I've been simple. Oh, oh, oh dear. My God, it's some sort of magneto-levitation device now. Come back, Dr. Atkinson. Where are you off to?